Hi everyone, uh, I'm Echoes and I'm a VTuber. So I'll be going over episode 16 of Gundam Witch from Mercury known as Cycle of Sin. So just as a quick reminder, if uh, you ever want to uh, talk more about other people about Witch from Mercury, you can definitely uh, join my Discord server which will be linked in the YouTube description box. But yeah, otherwise uh, we'll get started. So this episode is primarily it's it's like pretty much no battles. We get pretty much the aftermath of the previous episode with sort of all of the results of it. With um, a lot of gears are moving, we get some truths and confirmations as well. And yeah, so overall a lot of important information. So in the beginning, we have um, pretty much Bell and Lady Prospera are Continuing off of the previous episode, where is Eric Samia? And Lady Prospera confirms that she, Ares right by, um, right by Saleta's side in the data storm itself. Turn to him into a mobile suit, and I want to write the world so Ares can be happy, yeah. So, and then you hear, we continue on. So, Lady Prospera says, I couldn't continue, uh, believe my, sorry, couldn't believe my eyes at first. Ares' biometric code was completely synced with the data storm. I don't know what exactly uh, is considered biometric code. I think the closest thing I think of is like DNA, I guess, or like something related to life. Like somehow like her life was digitized completely. So it's not quite the same as DNA, but it's the point is that somehow her all anything that's like made her alive, right, was somehow able to sync up with the storm itself. And um, her child's body couldn't endure the harshness of outer space so yeah so it's pretty much the same uh, phenomenon as the phoenix from gundam narrative where the the one well, the main new type in the phoenix was a young girl and her body couldn't handle the strain of being in space or being a new type or whatever and then her physical body died but her soul i suppose was Entered the Gundam through, you know, new type powers and stuff. And then she's able to fly the air, the, um, the, uh, Phoenix around, like, pretty much a bird. It's part of, important part of this uh, series, for, you know, representing freedom and stuff. And we pretty much just get the same thing here. Physical body not being able to handle space and respectively the soul or the mind or something, you know, that allow you to, that, you know, controls your body typically goes into a mechanical body instead because the physical one can't stand it. So I use Lefreeth uh, to keep Ari alive because that was what Ariel connected to in the prologue. Alive is Ariel, and then Ariel is the new version of the Lefreeth. Use a data store network to transfer her my biometric code. Ari is no, nothing more than permit particles, yeah, so she's just part of the data storm. Without Ariel as her body, she'll just disintegrate, yeah. So she needs some sort of medium to uh, act as her body. But with the permit score of 8, right? We can expand the range of the data storm. Then Ari can live in freedom. So it's pretty much, it's just creating a world that Ari can freely exist, so she do, isn't constantly restrained, she just, the Ariel itself. Ariel's and its like limited range is, is like her only free space. But if with the quiet zero phenomenon, if for example, if you have quiet zero that encompasses the entire Earth, then in a way she can kind of live like a normal person, but she's kind of part of data. It's like it's like having expanding the range of her virtual body, I suppose. Because she's not really quite a computer. She's not like a computer program or anything. So she it's not she has limitations. And here, here um, you can see Lady Prospera is asking for uh, Belle to help her, but she says she can't she, on the principles of Vandas Institute. But, but the problem is that Belle makes enhanced humans using artificial central nervous system with resistance to the data storm. So, so the point is that she's, uh, you know, with the, um, what's the name? With uh, the, El the Elons, right? Elon Saris, they're all enhanced humans, right? So she's giving them an artificial central nervous system, maybe swapping it, I guess. I don't know if she's adding it to the original one or, or adding it, 
but it's, it's so that they can uh, use the permit score to control the um, pale uh, new types. That's the neural expansion theory. Dr. Cardo refused to expand it. And the one who conceived the idea was Bell herself, right? So she, she made it more feasible because she, you know, was kind of just had to do what she had to survive, right? Say no more, please, right? And here, uh, you can say later, Professor, that there will be no escape for you either. So in a way, uh, Bell cannot escape the results of her own actions. Skip the opening again. And then we get kind of a summary real quick uh, after the title of um, a lot of news that's getting leaked to the public. Let's see. Terrorist attack at the Stacia School of Tech. It has now with the kidnapping of Grasleys. Of Grasleys, Donna Fold, Sorry. Claiming responsibility is Donna Fold, said to be involved with the recent attack at Plant Quetra. Vim Jatrick is dead. According to some sorts of groups, Delling is also injured. Bernard carrying out, and then we get uh, some pictures of the uh, Earthian unrest. Bernard carrying out security operations at its own discretion. Under business administration laws, growing anti spatial sentiment on Earth has escalated into protests and riots. Yeah. A lot of people aren't happy, and Earthians are trying to, you know, fight back in their own way. War and terrorism rise due to Earthian unrest. Chris been heavily criticized for his recent actions. And this was a response, yeah. See the confidential matters have been leaked, probably through Shadik himself. Any clue where Zerizenali is? Nobody knows where he, where he is except Shadik and his groups. Nothing but a single video message he sent. Front management company is continuing the search. What's Cathedra doing? Judy can't catch them. But uh, you can see that they made fun of him because he got injured during the Rumble Royal. Rumble Royal, and all the hardline policies have been fired, backfired. Space Assembly League is trying to dig around. So I'm wondering what this is. This seems to be like an important group that hasn't been quite introduced yet. I wonder if it's that same group uh, that the mediator uh, that Mirina works with is part of. I wonder uh, what, how powerful they are. Yeah, so we'll have no choice but to elect a new president. So... This is the what um, Shadik wants. He wants to become the new president of the Benaret group. Just as we predicted. So run an election. So, yes, yeah, so Shadik is going to go. And here he uh, mentioned, isn't Mirani going to take over uh, for President Delling? Because, you know, daughter thing. Blood alone is enough to put you on the top. Because, you know, elections, have to, you have to influence other people to vote for you, right? You have backing from one to three. You can see that he's being... <laughs> His face right here, you can tell he's being super sarcastic right now. And then she's like, what are you doing, Shadik? And then, yeah, he says, I won't try to be your partner. I'm going to the head office. He has this funny face here. I don't know why. Everyone is waiting, yeah. You can hear uh, Mire is giving back her uh, belongings. I didn't see anything important in there. Um, so Gunna Arma has been cleared of suspicion. Found no evidence of involvement. Too bad. You should be happy that you won't be a trophy anymore in the duels. I couldn't care about that. And you see here um, that on her phone, uh, Salota has been uh, messaging her about like the garden and stuff. Title card. And you see that these machines are currently trying to break, uh, fix the holes in the uh, Astastasia school. I thought this was kind of an interesting technology have that. And then they have like some sort of fluid that uh, helps uh, bridge the gaps. France currently under a state of emergency, accordance with school regulations. All students are currently subject to activity restrictions. Can't blame those who left. So it looks like, uh, I think there's a picture here of like pretty much an empty classroom, right? Can't blame those who left. My parents are picking up next, uh, me up next week. So pretty much a lot of students are just vacating school because is pretty much under fire right now. Nobody wants to attend because of all the controversies involving with the Bennett group, which is, you know, in charge of the school. So they may want to go to school elsewhere. Then we see this, like, there's this forum. Earthians at Stasia can't bear next to MS Cockpit anymore. Earthians should go back to, this is just some space being racist. Only Mr. Guo is here. Astasia is over. Gundam must be responsible. Roji and then, Roji and Cecilia are kind of just 
We're here in case we have to do duels, I guess. Almost the princess's birthday, right? Princess is probably Miurine, right? I should be here to see who becomes her groom, right? So I think this is, um... Isn't that, uh... Yeah, this is the, um, Gwell's or, um, his, or Nalda's, uh, mech. With this girl right here. Everything's leave now, go back to your swamps, you don't belong here. So yeah, some, so pretty much space are just being racist again. How long do they keep Nika in custody and she choose getting her wrench out? Can't take the wrench, we're all suspended already, don't cause more trouble. So yeah, because of, um, their possible involvement, they are race suspended from the school anyway. Investigating always suspicious Earthians, why they had to confiscate Ariel and Demi. So it is putting up with it, yeah. See that they're still doing the spray painting. What are you doing? There's some more racism. All the Gundams that attacked us, none of them knew Sophie. So why they're harassing us? Protecting, protecting fellow witches, right? Because the witches are also Earthians, right? Our company staff said so. Witches who made the Gundams took pilot's lives with their experiments. All Vanadis Institute connections. Gundam isn't like that. You took lives too in the Rumble Ring, right? This is when, um... Not Sophie... Uh, I forgot her name. Norea uh, killed uh, this dude right here. Jubeju was a friend. And where this guy is uh, hit, trying to hit her with the spray can. When said, oh, Martin takes the blow here. You're just gonna pay. And then uh, you can see Mirani here stops it because she, um, right here, let's see. She recorded a video that shows the assault, right? Nika's being treated by, uh, I guess, She Deke's right hand lady. I forgot her name. Um, don't you wanna join our group? Yeah, because she said that she's pretty skilled, like, so she's, you know, very useful. And she, you know, wants to, you know, connect both Earth and space because of her uh, interests, right? But she said that she doesn't want to be a victim. But she doesn't want to do it if, where the, what they call it, ends don't justify the means, right? Even if it's for the Earth, right? Let's see. Also, yeah, this is important to do. Are you Earthian? But yeah, she was an Earthian un until Grassley took her in, right? And then she became a Spacian, right? Ideals alone can't change reality. You can't leave here either. But she, Greek, and I will make it happen. The dream of bridging Earth and space. So yeah, so in a way, everyone is trying to go forth to achieve their good dreams, even if it's at the what call downfall of other people, you know? A cut to the chase. This is where... um. You see that the Ella number five's in the fair act, and he's like, you gotta get the aerial for us. And she can't he can't win over Solette anymore because of the whole presidential race, dueling game is over. Act as so fighting, less of so disappointed, right? He was mostly just looking he 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 mostly just wasn't doing anything drastic. Been terror confiscated because of the incident. Wanna live carry a mission, yeah. So just just do your job pretty much. And then where, uh, here, you can see Shadik is, uh, learning about how the company is split into six groups, and he's in, in the, he's in sixth place. They're gonna try to rise to the top. And then here we see Guel brought back into space again, through that, uh, I guess that lift, I guess. Feels like I've been gone forever. And here you can see that, uh, um, Lada and, uh, Petra are like, Oh, it's Guel again, yo! Kind of thing. How have you been? And then you can see his brother's so happy that he's alive. He wasn't sure where he was, and then he faints. I think he's just relieved, yeah. And here we learn about how um, after uh, the plant question incident, Lada had to suddenly take over the company. Um, the group had to keep asking for uh, to take responsibility and stuff. He had to sort of rise to leadership in a very short amount of time. And then his father's dead, which he well, obviously knows because he killed his own father. Lotta didn't have time to grieve. Been struggling all alone. Why? And you see, you can see Guel right here is asking her to take care of him. That um, so that uh, as long as she's taking care of him, then he can focus on all. The I don't know what he wants to do though. 
I don't know if he's like kind of just doing what he did before on Earth, just kind of helping support from the side, I sidelines, I guess. But we'll see. But yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that he's back though, because he's able to do something now. Never find any record of front management company's involvement. What do you mean? Nika knows taken by other parties disguised as front management employees. Because we know that Nika uh, was taken by Shadik's group. So that makes sense, right? Confirm the departure list. Give me a favor. And the lady who was helping me says, I'd like a pass to freely enter and exit Gundam Arm. So, because she wants to investigate the Shinsei Development Corporation, which is owned by Lady Prospero. Right? For me, what you find, right? And directly cost for their and then this why they're investing is that the cost for their gundam repair was excessive because uh, you know because if if we remember um the area had like upgrades right a lot of equipment sent to plant quetra it's like but it's still suspicious like like she's like why is the bottom rank company getting so much support and is the group behind this right even requires groundless accusations higher-ups plan to forcibly intervene better group so a lot of things can still happen Create unnecessary fuss. Their role as mediators. So they're trying to stay as neutral as possible, but still support the factions that are not uh, immediately vying for power. And then here's where Mir figures out that Nika isn't with the front management company like they suspected. So where she is, and then they, she don't know. They don't know where, so they're looking into it, right? Understood. And you can see Choo Choo's uh, pleased with that. Can't find anything on our own. So, you know... Thank you. Yeah, so you can see that uh, Chuchu's really grateful for uh, me and Rene's support. So you know that, like, they really trust her already, but they trust her even more than before. And this is where uh, me is being dumped with all the work. And I really like that this guy, I forgot his name, this guy here is helping uh, Saleta have a little bit more of a voice, right? Where uh, Saleta wants, to take, uh, wants uh, to take her to the greenhouse, right? Okay, and then she's go do that first. And then uh, her, um, then Lady Prospera pops in, uh, kind of uh, messing with everyone and brainwash us a little more. Invest guys finish questioning me, is talk a little bit. And then you can see Mira isn't really happy that Prospera's there, so she's gonna try to uh, take uh, Saleta with her. Yeah, and then you see here, um, where is where um, Ella number five found the aerial, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna try to take you, right? He's like, wasn't number four able to use, unable to link, right? And then you see that he, uh, he's forced into a permanent link increase, because cause he can slightly handle it because of the artificial uh, nervous system that was mentioned before. A data storm. And he's like, what the heck is going on, right? And then you see that uh, Aerie is trying to force him out. Because what's the difference here is that, um, like, compare, like, the, I think um, Aerie is really smart, right? She's um, almost, pretty much just as smart as Silletta herself. So what's interesting is the difference in the treatment between this guy and um, Elon number four. Because cause Aerie knew that, she, um, so I trust in number four, but it doesn't mean she'll trust number five. And she already knows that this guy's not the same person, which is really interesting. And he can't come here, yeah. So in a way, she's forcingly uh, rejecting him. Who are you, right? And she's uh, forcing uh, him out. Kind of amazing, huh? What the heck is the Gundam? So yeah, that's like the difference, I think. Um, so I thought that was just an interesting comparison between the two Elons, that Elon number four was more well... Like, I'd say, like, he wasn't forcibly rejected compared to this guy, how this guy was. So it's just the difference in treatment between different people, depending on what the you know, Aerie believes is trustworthy, right? Not that number four really uh, could, you know, do much after a certain point, but the point is um, the difference in treatment. 
unable to handle it. And they see bells right here. Should help, right? She wants to help, but the thing is that she talks about um, having to uh, work under Pale because of her skills. And then he, he's like, I want to you know, do what Gundam want to help people, right? And, and he's like, no, you're, you're experimenting with people like me, right? You're, you're doing the whole um, enhanced person thing. You don't, just don't want to die, right? She just, Bell just, all she's doing is just using her skills to survive, right? Don't give a damn about my future, right? Because he doesn't have one, pretty much, because of his whole enhanced person. You can never go back to who he used to be, for the most part. You're wrong, and like hell, I'm wrong, right? I'm going to report you. So, I wasn't sure actually what he was going to report her for, but for her, it's her resistance of like I don't, like I don't want to um, help. I guess uh, I I don't want to uh, you know help the pale group do what they want. Like she's not following orders, pretty much. And here's like I did as you said, and use the Andis model three times a day. See that they're talking here, right? She be mad at me. So, so in a way, um, Mirene is like apologizing for um, being so mean to Saletta, right? Should have thanked you, right? And this is where you can see that once Saletta mentions like, she's like kind of happy. I knew it. It's just like what mom said, right? And then you can see that Mirene has this reaction to that. She told me you understand eventually, right? She What she understands is that Saletta is just too easily controlled by her mother. And you can see she sets her moto again, fought without running away, as to protect everyone. You can see that she's really getting really frustrated. How can you smile, right? I know you rescued me, but you smashed another person to death. Right or not, you shouldn't smile about it, right? Like, like the point is that Saleta is somehow still happy even though she killed someone. That's the, the irony, right? But only the two of us could save everyone. Isn't that what your mom told you? Will you do anything your mom tells you to do? Because she's pretty much just been controlled the entire time. I wouldn't say anything. What if she told you to give your dream building a school in Mercury, right? I'd be troubled, right? But my mom told me I had to give up, right? So the point is that as much as Salada is trying to be her own person, her mother is controlling her to the point that she would at a drop of had give up on all of her dreams. So she's not thinking of herself. She's just following orders, right? Gundam isn't a tool of war, right? Didn't we decide, all decide to build Gundam so we could save lives, right? And what's interesting here is that we have the tomato analogy. Rumi Rene has very fully, she already knows what she wants, right? But Saleta is not ripe yet. She's still, she's still quite incomplete because she still can't think for herself. So is, if your mother told you to, would you use Gundams to kill people, right? You can see here she's, Saleta says yes, right? Because if her mom told her to, right? It's pretty much still her fault. It's, it's because I did what mom said that I got to go to school. And make friends. And meet you, me, really, right? So it's because of... Um, so I know my mom is always right. So in a way, uh, her mom just pretty much controls everything her entire life. And me, because as long as, you know, Slada obeys her mother, then she gets what she wants too, right? So it, it's just really sad. And Mire knows that. And she knows that Saleta is, you know, kind of trying a little bit to resist, but how she was raised makes her unable to. And Mire runs out because of that. Here, uh, Mire is questioning her, the mom, Lady Prospero. She's a good girl, right? And then, yeah. That, she's good, that isn't funny because that girl will do anything you tell her to. Won't let you have your way with her. So, because she wants uh, Saleta to have her own life, kind of like what Ari also wants to do too. And that's interesting too, is where, keep in mind that also, uh, the only person that Ari rejected was Ella number five, right? Uh, she didn't reject Ella number four. She also didn't reject Mirine when she used her mech. So, definitely, Ari is pretty good at judging character, right? Want to have your way with her next, right? Just like your father might, allows you to have nothing to do with this, but in reality, he does, yeah. Because your father is the object of my family's vengeance, right? Guess that man, Rajan, who's the right-handed man of Delling, is like, what's, what do you mean? Found that incident 21 years ago. Delling deprived me of my husband, my colleagues. 
Yeah, we're hunting that man slaughtered everyone. We're the only ones that lived, right? And she's like, that's not true. You accused Slut of being a murderer, right? But you're in the same position. I wanted you to hear, too, the screams and cries of her comrades, Avenger, deaths, kill the Delling, whispering. So I don't know whether um, Prospera is, like, hallucinating or something, but I guess it's more that she feels compelled to get revenge on all of those she cared about, right? To a point of, in a way, madness. But leave Scylla out of the vengeance, right? I want revenge, why don't you adults kill each other? Like, why, why are the adults putting the children in, right? Leave Scylla out, you're quite admirable, quite zero. Your present are planning to be ruined, right? You become next present, right? You can do it. You're Delling's bloodstained daughter, right? So then we get the end of the episode. So pretty much like, what's the word? In a way, the adults are just using the children as mediums, right? Like Zenali using Shadik, Jatuk's father using Guel to, you know, like points out they're just using their children to uh, achieve their goals in the end. Because it's easier to control children than to control adults. So I could kind of see that. Next time, this is a uh, spoken from Gwil's voice. Precious things, right? So this one is kind of a big. I don't even know what next episode is going to be talking about. Maybe just about like what people value and stuff. But yeah, just like overall, just a really dense episode. We learn a lot of gears are moving. We learn more about um, pretty much where everyone is. We get like an overall summary. We get Gwil coming back, uh, supporting his family. We get. Um, a lot of a lot on Lady Prospera and how far she's going, willing to go to manipulate her daughter or to make her other daughter happy. Messed up. And then Shadik is obviously trying to further his agenda. Um, there's a lot of civil unrest on Earth and space. So overall, overall, pretty complicated situation. So we'll see whether things get resolved slowly, or whether things are only going to go further down into a dark, dark place. So yeah, so yeah, we are approaching uh, another climax. So we'll see how things go from here. All right, thank you so much and have a good rest of your day. Thanks uh, for taking a listen and we'll uh, keep, uh, keep watching and see what happens next.